The next SOPL keyword that I have is order by. Believe me, you're going to use it a lot. Let me explain you what it is uh, used for. So order by query or order by keyword as order by SOPL keyword is used is used in a query to return the result in an ordered format. And how it works is, let's have a look at the simple query over here. So over here I've written down, select name comma amount from opportunity, order by amount. So that basically means the opportunities will be returned with the field name and amount, but the the the, or, like the order of the opportunities will be based on to the amount. Like the lowest amount will be on to the top and the highest amount, uh, which like the highest amount value that we have in any of the opportunity will be the last one. So it will be in, a, in an ascending order uh, of the amount fields value. All of the, those opportunities which will get into this opportunity list three uh, will be in an ascending order uh, by the field amount. So this is how basically order by keyword works and I have different different examples over here as well. So uh, in this select name comma amount from opportunity, uh, I've written down order by amount and then I've written down ASC. So this ASC signifies ascending order. So you, you are returning the records in an ascending order of this particular field. So uh, fields value. So ASC is by default. So if you'll write it down, write, like, write it down like ASC, it will be similar to if, you, if you're not writing down anything. But there is another thing as well, which we call as DESC. If you can see over here, DESC. So uh, this DESC key, uh, keyword when we use with order by returns the result in a descending order of that particular field's value. So in opportunity list five, we'll get all the opportunities which will have the field name and amount and the uh, like the, the all the records will be into a descending order of the amounts fields value that means the uh, maximum value or the opportunity which has the maximum value of the amount field will be on to the top and the lowest value will be on to the bottom and uh, after that uh, i also have another thing uh, another things or another keywords that i can use with uh, sql query or as uh, with sql keyword order by and that are nulls first and nulls last so what this means is that you're okay so by default uh, if you're writing down order by uh, amount it will return the result in ascending order but what about nulls like should we count nulls as a value which is lowest or should we count uh, nulls as a value which is highest so it depends by default it is count as a value which is lowest and if uh, you'll write down nulls first it will return the records uh, of opportunity object which have the value um, uh, um, like which have the amount fields value as null onto the top if i'll write down nulls first and if i'll write down nulls last then in that case all the opportunity records will be uh, who like which have the opportunities amount fields value as null will be returned into the last so if you'll write down order by amount nulls first it will return all the uh, opportunities which have nulls as the first uh, set of records and then the lowest value then the till the highest and if I'll write down order by amount nulls last, then in this case, uh, I'll, I'll be like given all the opportunities or uh, like this query will return all the opportunities in which the amount which is lowest will be onto the top and the highest will be on the last. And after the highest, I'll get the records or the opportunity records which have the amount fields value as null. The next keyword that we have in SQL is group by. Group by uh, keyword is basically used to group or aggregate the records or aggregate the values that we have into that particular field. So here's a simple example for it. Select stage name from opportunity group by stage name. So it will return all the uh, like unique or all the different values that we have in the field stage name. So like we have closed one, closed lost, uh, we have negotiation, proposal, price code and different different values that uh, like these different different values in this stage name field. So all the values will be returned by this query and it will be returned as an aggregate result and we'll get all the values that we have in the opportunity objects record uh, with the help of this query and there are another versions of this uh, group by keyword or we can use it different in uh, like in a different different way so there's another way uh, in which we'll use any aggregate function with the group by keyword and how we can do that is count id from opportunity group by stage name so this particular query will return the number of opportunities that we have in that particular stage in the in your Salesforce org. So let me give you an example what it, uh, it will return as a uh, as a result. So we have 15 opportunities in the stage closed one. So it will return 15 with closed one. And uh, 
yeah it will not return closed one with that uh, because we do not we haven't specified comma stage name over here but if we have uh, like we, if we have like if we would if we, if we would have specified stage name over here then it would have returned the result as 15 then the stage name uh, on which we have those 15 records of opportunity similarly uh, we can like we'll get the result like 10 uh, we have 10 opportunities in our org uh, which are onto the stage negotiation and review we have uh, 50 opportunities on the stage proposal and price quote so it will return the total number of opportunities or the count of the opportunities that are there onto that particular stage so this is how it's going to work and yes over here why i have used count id instead of just count and simple braces so count and simple parenthesis will not work with group by keyword you need to make sure that you do not write down count and then simple parenthesis and then at the end you write down group by another example that we have with uh, aggregate result is select stage name comma count id from opportunity group by stage name so this is exactly the same example that i was talking about earlier so it will return that all the field values that we have and the total number of records that we have on each of the stage or uh, like the yeah, total number of opportunities that we have on the on each stages so it will return the result like that uh, because i have included stage name into the query uh, yeah into the, into this query as a field and let me tell you one more thing we can only include the field which we have used into the group by statement or with a group by keyword we cannot uh, write down amount over here select amount comma stage name comma count id we cannot do that we can only write down the fields name uh, which is used with the group by keyword that is exactly what we have done over here stage name comma count id from opportunity group by stage name and the like we can use different different aggregate functions as i have told you uh, we can use count similarly we have another aggregate function that we just discussed so we can use different different aggregate functions and if i'll use stage name comma max amount uh, like this so it will return like this query select stage name comma max amount from opportunity group by stage name this will return uh, the maximum amount that we have into that particular stage yeah literally so uh, in closed one what is the maximum amount of all uh, amongst all the opportunities that are onto the stage closed one so we have 10 uh, opportunities uh, which are onto the closed one state and amongst those 10 opportunities what is the maximum amount there is and it will return that fields value or uh, that amount with the help of uh, because of this max amount uh, over here and again if you can see i have only used stage name in here because I have applied group by onto the stage name. We cannot use any other field as I have explained earlier. And uh, with like we can use group by with only certain uh, aggregate functions like average, count, minimum, maximum, sum, count distance, things like that. So we can use all of these aggregate functions with group by as well. That's it about group by.